In this video, I'm going to take you through diagnosis of a Wabco EBS3 ECU on a DAF CF. We will start with some non-invasive checks like fuses and live data to confirm why it's at the fault codes. We'll move on to the substitution of a valve to eliminate the possibility of that causing a voltage fall down and a quick power supply check on the ECU plugs to show that the ECU is at 100% fault. So into the vehicle and we can confirm the customer's complaints via the dip with red brake system truck malfunction, stability control malfunction, AEBS malfunction and adaptive cruise control malfunction. Once the vehicle is in the workshop, we can plug the VCI into the vehicle and find it doesn't have any power. A quick strip down of the EOBD socket confirmed that the earths have backed out of the plug and are causing a communication issue with the VCI. Once the pins had been rectified, I could plug back in and identify the faults, which were power supply issues to the EBS ECU on pins A8 and A9. So as you can see, fuse E350 is power supply after contact to A7, where fuses E189 and E190 are power supply before contact on A8 and A9. Now we can check the power feeds at the fuses here. Bear with me on this as finding a fuse with ECN codes, then converting them to fuse locations on the fuse board diagram was like playing Where's Wally. Apologies for the poor zoomed in view, but what we have here is the live data to confirm that the ECU is showing a lower power supply voltage from the battery to the front axle modulator, where all the other modulators are showing battery voltage at 24 volts. To check it's not the front axle modulator pulling the voltage down, I've made a loom to extend the truck harness to another vehicle where I know the valve is good. And after clearing the faults and trying the ignition, the fault still persists. So now we know it's not the valve causing the voltage loss and the fuses are showing battery voltage on A7, A8 and A9. I'm going to get the EBS ECU out the dash and check the voltages on the ECU plugs. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe and ring that bell as it will let you know when I have a new video out for you to watch. Once I had got half the dash out of the way, I could get to the ECU bolts and expose it for testing. This end plug contains A7, A8 and A9, all of which were fine and with the faults still active we could definitely say the ECU is fit for the bin.
So, with a new ECU, we can get this refitted into the vehicle. I won't bore you with the full refitting of the dash. A new ECU from DAF is blank and that requires me to program it and it also requires me to calibrate the VSC so off down the road we go to comply with the calibration procedure which is drive in a straight line for 250 meters and turn the steering wheel through 180 degrees so down the road until the roundabout should do it I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please check out my other videos